why a 30-year-old would want to be with a 60-year-old, but at the end of the day, does it matter with age? Yeah. You know, they're really good. Welcome to the Talk It Out Show. I'm your host, Joanne. We would like to let you know that this show is for entertainment purposes only. If you want to look us up on Facebook or Twitter, look us up at Talk It Out Show. And if you want to go ahead and email us any of your questions, you can go ahead and email us at talkitoutshow at gmail.com. Now, if you need to physically send any of your questions to us, go ahead and send it to our P.O. Box at P.O. Box 901043, Portland, Oregon 97290. All right, well, as you know, I have my panel of lovely ladies. I'm going to introduce those lovely ladies to you. We have our lovely Lydia. Hello, 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 everyone. All right, and we have our lovely Valerie. Hi, everybody. All right, you guys, it is so good to have you guys here. We want to be able to help one of our listeners out, or a couple, however many we want to be able to help out. And this uh, listener says here, I am 25 years old in college and no kids, but I'm hopelessly in love with my boyfriend. We have been on and off again for six years, and I asked him to move up to my state so we can come, can we, so we can be closer. In the beginning, we were inseparable and were constantly talking. But now, it seems like he never has time for me and goes for weeks on and without talking to me, but comes around when I need him to do something for my family or when he needs me to do something for him. Sometimes I question if he loves me for me or if he loves me at all. If you could please give me some advice on what to do, I would really, really appreciate it. So what you're saying is she wants to be in a, she's in a relationship with a guy mm. and they just kind of... They've been on and off for like six years just because they're in college. She's in college right now. They've been on and off like for six years. And, but now he's just real with this. Like, it's like, you know, let's say, for instance, I need you to do something. I'm there for you when I need you, but he's not really, like, into, into. Seems like, you know. Is it that, I don't know, because, you know, I, I'm just kind of thinking about, like, when you're with somebody for many, many years, it, it just, there's just not that. The honeymoon is Yeah, over. there's just not that. <laughs> and it's not like, it's, I mean, it's not like you're really not liking the person yeah, anymore. It's just the fact that over. we're not doing that call and call all the time. You know what I mean? It's like we still like each other and we're cool, but we ain't just up on each other. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. Hey, I agree. Because that's over. six years. That's a long time. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm, day, I'm just used to you. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard because they're young. They're younger. And, yeah. and I can't tell. she's in college. Yeah. And, so you're, and they're in different states, right? Yeah. Exactly. So that tell. makes it a difficult thing. And that gives you. you never know what they're doing. That makes you feel like some, he got somebody else. Mm -hmm. Probably do. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And mm -hmm. so I would say, you know. I'm not really an advocate of absence makes the heart grow fonder, but I'm saying this is the time maybe you guys should explore to see other people. Or just live your life. And if you guys make it back to each other, then you make it back to each other. Because you guys have been on and off, so it's not a, like a steady stream of a relationship where we've been together six years straight. We've been together going on this rocky road, and I'm thinking I'm staying with you because we've been together mm -hmm. on this rocky road. Right, right, right. So I think if we just like do our own thing and stay friends mm -hmm. and see if you guys can be together. Because mm -hmm. if you stay friends, you're not going to talk to each other all the time, just like you're not doing now. And he still can help with the family stuff, and if he needs help, you can still do that if you choose. Mm -hmm. But I think it's this. It's all right to take a break from each other, to find out if you guys are really wanting to be with each other. Because you might just want to be with each other because you guys are each other's security blanket. Mm. And, you know, and I was thinking, too, that whenever you're in a relationship with anyone, you, ha you have to keep it alive. And so you guys are trying to do this long-distance relationship. With, that's probably one of the harder ones. But uh, when you do something, it has to be deliberate and intentional. So if you're going to have your date month, or every quarter you guys are going to see each other, it has to come to play. Yeah. You know, it has to come. You know, if not, if you're just see, depending on, because you're going, you're going to school and everybody's trying to live out this thing. So, you know, finding time for each other is probably one of the harder, you know, you put that on the back burner because you got other things that are more pressing, mm -hmm. you know, than that. So then you start to believe that they don't want you or they don't want to be with you or they 
you know, they got somebody else and, you know, they're not talking to me like they used to. And I think women have that problem right off the top anyway, mm -hmm. you know, when they're not calling. I mean, sometimes they don't want to talk to you like that. They just sit there <laughs> talking to you. Right, right, and right. so they know you. I mean, they know you. And yeah. They, you know, but you know. got to have a spark and you got to have things. And there's you so gotta much. You got to do something. There's so much out in the world right now to so, uh, what's that? connect you. When they talk. FaceTime. Yeah, 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 FaceTime. Yeah. 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 But there's so much that other, not like talking, just like, okay, maybe we'll play a game when we get together. Mm. You know, or mm. tell me about your together. day. Mm. Tell me about your day mm. in so many words. Mm. Make it more interesting. Mm. But sometimes is when you're gone from like that, and this is the whole reason I said separate, is because sometimes, one thing is, let me just put it this way, I'm going to change it. Mm. We all, see each other probably twice a week, correct? Mm -hmm. Every time we see each other, we have grown yeah. in some way. Lots of stuff's gone. You know, you know so ways. much of the life of this world What's has happening? made us grow yeah. in this world. So when you guys are growing, you guys are pretty, it looks like you're growing apart because there's no way you don't have nothing to talk about. There's no way you can't be conversating and having things to talk about. Mm -hmm. And let's, I'm so busy over here and we're missing phone calls, missing phone calls that we are not connected. So when now when we're talking, it's like that awkward talk. Well, you don't want the awkward talk. So they're like, so yeah, you all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or I'm doing something now because I'm making this effort to have this conversation, mm -hmm. but I'm not really hearing you. Yeah, I'm, yeah, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I hear you, but I'm not listening to right, you. That's right, what it is. Right, I'm right. hearing you, but I'm not listening to you, so I'm not responding correctly. So it just seems like we're distant because we're not making that opportunity. We have to have... I said time, just like you were just telling the story mm -hmm. when we did our podcast, mm -hmm. how uh, the couple was making it every Tuesday at 5 o'clock, that's what mm -hmm. we do. That needs to be something that's uh, in you guys' thing. Yeah. Every day or every other day at this time, we have to talk at this time, and that's it. it I don't care what it is. If we work deliberate. around our schedule. You, I know you might normally work at 3, but today, um, our two days, you go to work at four. You know, yeah. this is what that you have to rearrange your schedule for your time to have a conversation to build. And that's if that's something you guys can do or willing to do. Right. Because I think I was thinking about my uh, I have a dear friend and they were out of the country. So one was here in the United States and I believe the other one was in uh, uh, Peru. Mm -hmm. And and they liked each other. Mm -hmm. So they intentionally every three months seen each other mm -hmm. so she would go there for a week or uh, whatever she could uh, do. But the thing that they did was that they FaceTimed, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, they would sit and cook a meal together, and they would go, okay, we, let's watch a movie. They put on the same movie. He had a movie at his house, mm -hmm. and they would sit there with the thing, mm -hmm. with the uh, iPad thing, mm -hmm. sitting there while they both watching the movie together. Mm -hmm. So you have, in order to do a yeah, long-distance yeah. type of relationship, you have to come up with some strategies, yes. you know, that was going to allow you to spend daytime mm -hmm. together and time together. Mm -hmm. I mean, they cook together. Yeah. They'd be in the kitchen, and he'd be over there cooking, mm -hmm. and they said it where he would cook it, and she'd watch him cook the food, and sometimes they just had the thing sitting there, ain't nobody saying nothing. Mm -hmm. Just looking at each other. And, and, that, and that is a building of a relationship, but mm -hmm. like I said, sometimes, again, we are into the point where we don't want to admit our issues. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We don't want to admit what our problem is. Mm -hmm. And that's something we have to figure out how to do. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm, I don't I love you, and I don't want to hurt you, but mm. I think we need to separate. Right. And, and it could be, it could and, be at and, that and point. It could be. And that's what I think we're... Yeah, like we're, they say, the reason, season, or lifetime, you never know. It's just, just the season just exactly. might be over. You know exactly. And you got to figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Because right now, you guys are putting each other's life on hold, mm -hmm. trying to hold on to something that might not be there. Right. Or if you don't mind doing what Valerie's saying, making time for each other. Mm -hmm. But that means it takes two parties to make time for each other. Because if you don't do it, then you don't want to, you, you're not, it's yeah, not, and that's, it's not way, your and that's one way to gauge it. Yeah. You know, if he can't, if he can't make it to your guys' date night, yeah. you guys decided on every Friday night that you would spend time, mm -hmm. or every morning, you you guys would FaceTime each other for an hour, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Whatever it worked for you guys with your schedules and mm -hmm. busy lives, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it takes. Sometimes, I mean, I have another friend now, and they, they're here, and the other one's in Louisiana, and they do the same thing. They, 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 they talk, and they mm -hmm. just, the phone just be sitting there, and mm -hmm. I was like, that is... 
But <laughs> but it works. Yeah, you know, yeah. it works because they're spending time together. And if they're not willing to spend that time with you because they're busy doing something else or doing doing yeah. something else, <laughs> you know, then you yeah. that will help you gauge yeah. where your relationship exactly. is. But you got to be willing to try something yeah. to, so that you're able to see is this relationship worth solving, yeah. you know, saving. But if it's not, it's okay to separate and yeah. it's okay to you have young, and come back young. and revisit this maybe later. Exactly. And I, I look at it like what you're saying is so true because me and Joanne and another friend, we sit on the computer at night. They watch me every night. Mm -hmm. We would sit there. We might miss one night because we just tired. Mm -hmm. But usually every night and I'll, every night I'm doing my facial mm -hmm. ritual where I take off my makeup and I do my face and clean mm -hmm. and I put the eye cream and then, mm -hmm. I do the, and then I tell them, then I'm going to talk to you about it. Mm -hmm. This is a new one. I want you guys to smell it. Mm -hmm. And this this is an overnight mask. I never heard of an overnight mask. Mm -hmm. Maybe like me either. Mm -hmm. and, then we, and that's what we do. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Joanne's kids will pop in and I say hi. What you doing? Mm -hmm. Put on my face. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I'll be twisting my hair. Cause, you know, I'm wearing a wig. That's so true. I'm wearing a wig. wig time. And we spend time together we're talking and we're laughing we argue we can do whatever and that's, like, and that's the same thing you should do no, as much when you're in a relationship it's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> but it's something that what Valerie is saying is so true if you are truly trying to connect and have a good relationship these are things, and it's so much easier now than it was back in the day. Yeah, that's so you right. really don't have an excuse yeah. to yeah. stay connected. Right. So you need to find out from him, because apparently it's not you, mm. from him what is his meaning yeah. for it. She and you might be him. afraid of that conversation, yeah. but you'd rather hear the conversation now so you can go on with your right, life. Right, right. And don't be mad if he wants to do something else, because... Mm. You guys are young. He has that right yeah. to have that emotion, mm -hmm. and it is going to hurt. But in reality, you're probably just as happy. You just don't know because you're so in like shocked that that he said it right. and that that's what it was. But you already been already separated, so right. him saying it shouldn't really hurt your feelings because you're not connected right now anyway. Exactly. So either or, if he's willing to try it, good. Let's do it, and we're gonna work on it. If he's not, and he says, you know what, I I just don't want to lose you. But I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. So it seems like they're really because of the relationship, and then, uh, and then being young as they are, they probably have a really good friendship, and he probably wouldn't want to, you know, he probably feels like she's her, his really good friend, and if I don't, if I'm not with her anymore, then I'm going to lose that, and he does probably doesn't want to lose that friendship, yeah. but mm -hmm. he probably doesn't want to be with her that way anymore. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's all right, and uh, and don't take it as a rejection. It's just yeah. that you guys, you guys grew apart. Grew. You, you grew. grew apart, and it's all right because we grow. Yeah, and you probably don't even realize that you grew apart, and, and it's probably change. gonna be yeah. a lot of weight off your shoulders yeah. after you finish crying and mm -hmm. complaining or whatever your issue is and being mad. Mm -hmm. But you probably be like, oh, I Dude, needed this break too. Mm -hmm. right. So remember that too, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and like. We were just talking when we were doing the podcast. Communication is so much a key. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I said is we don't know how to communicate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to only tell you what you want to hear. And you mm -hmm. can only tell me what I want. So you never know yeah. what I feel because I don't know how to communicate. Because if I tell you the truth, then it hurts your feelings. Mm -hmm. And then now you're going to hold that against me. Mm -hmm. And so what I want is a friendship. But now we, it's destroyed because I didn't want to have a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. You don't want that to be the case either. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was sitting here thinking that he could probably be thinking the same thing. He probably was thinking you pulling out, you know that you don't want to because I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm thinking in my head that if you're thinking that you guys don't have that conversation conversations like you used to, he might be thinking the same thing. We don't have our conversations like we used to, yeah. and, you know. And I find that uh, uh, gentlemen callers are somewhat more sometimes more insecure than we are as women. Right. You yeah, know, they, the first yeah. thing that they do is accuse you of and doing something. And then they'll pull back. Like, yeah, yeah, they pull let back. Your mind go and you yeah. naturally yeah. pull back. Right, exactly. like, he's not doing anything. But, mm -hmm. you know, but that's why I said, you know, before you throw all the towels in, mm -hmm. go check the circumstances. Right. You know, exactly. go try to do something unique. Mm -hmm. And inside the uniqueness, you may, you'll you see the where it lies at and be prepared for if right. it's time to break up, right. if it's it time to good. back off, you know? Yeah. I, I was sitting there thinking about something that you you really uh, stuck stuck something in my head when you said that because um, I'm coming to find out and we were all talking about how communication is important things like that but I'm coming to find out that 
sometimes even like they they don't see each other that much, but and, or they if maybe even talk or whatever here and there. Sometimes we even when the times that we're talking to somebody, we can say something that seems so normal and fine to us, but we don't know we we could have possibly really really actually hurt that person mm -hmm. so bad. Mm -hmm. That it messed them up mm -hmm. to like extreme, but mm -hmm. we sitting there like normal, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you know, to have. But we like we may not have no like literally no idea, mm -hmm. and unless that person says it, mm -hmm. like actually tells us, mm -hmm. we would never know, mm -hmm. or we would never know mm -hmm. that that even affected that mm -hmm. person. We think we have a normal conversation, talking, whatever, and we don't know that the little thing that we said has affected them mm -hmm. that much and it's affected the, the decisions and how they feel about them and everything for years to come when mm -hmm. we don't know like and and so that's what i'm saying with her she don't even she may even know the conversation that they may have had mm -hmm. and it may have had him on a whole nother mm -hmm. level and probably like i said back made him back away mm -hmm. and she having no idea thinking everything's cool mm -hmm. and fine and dandy and and he, she probably could have said something because of the fact that they're not communicating mm -hmm. as often mm -hmm. that that could have happened. Mm -hmm. I that's happened to me, and I'm literally I was in shock. It happened. I mean, they gratefully so I'm I'm still with I'm still with the person, but I didn't find out until years later, and I mean, look, recent years that I said something in the very 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 beginning, like the very beginning, that affected that person so much, it affected. The whole and because he never said anything to me, because I'm that type of person who will say something. It comes out really horrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does. It comes out really horrible, and my intention is like literally the opposite. I'm trying to say the opposite of how it made you feel. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying something. I'm trying to give you kudos, but way it comes out will just hurt you to the core. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there thinking in my mind because I know what I'm trying to say, but it comes out really horrible. So I'm a, I'm hurting someone with my words and not knowing that. Mm. And because that person never said that it did that to them, it damaged their self-esteem so low and then they just lived as such, which was really hard for the relationship. But to find out then years later, and then when I go, oh, I didn't mean it like that, I meant it like this. Mm -hmm. And then to know that, they, to really think that that person thought that all those years, mm -hmm. when I actually meant the opposite of what they felt. Mm -hmm. And so, so I said a lot of times, because like Lydia's saying, communication, is so important. We gotta talk. I mean, me and Lydia have the issues. We had issues for years and certain things, and I had to come to realization that you know I mean, she'll always be saying, "Oh, you're stupid," or "You always mad," or "You da da da." But if I say it, if I say what I'm upset about or what I got upset about, and then she goes, "Why well, I mean like that? that? I mean it like this, this, this," or you know, I didn't know what I was talking about. Or, I wasn't even listening to you. Or mm -hmm. you know, you never know. Mm -hmm. We never know. Mm -hmm. But until we open our mouth and say it. I'm not going to know. And then I'm going to sit here and harbor all these feelings mm -hmm. that I shouldn't even, I, I wasted my time being upset mm -hmm. for what? You know I what agree. I mean? So it's like, that's the same thing. And if that, these people are not communicating as much, like she said, look, we all sit mm -hmm. here seeing each other maybe two, three times a week. Mm -hmm. But if I sit there and have a lot of span, a long time span, you just said something to me and I ain't seen you for a long time and mm -hmm. I'm harboring and letting that, that one last thing you said that hurt my feelings play in my head. And I ain't said never talk to you again about it. Mm -hmm. Never told you I had an issue about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just sitting there holding it. That's and that's all I have. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I'm just. And that's why you got to. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I, I, I don't like text texts for that reason too. Because you can you, interpret because it. Because you can wrong. interpret it wrong. Yeah. Right. And so yeah. I, I'm the, yeah. I'm an advocate when it's a certain conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm not texting you. Right. I'm finna pick up the phone and call and, you. Exactly. And so that we can talk it through. Because if mm -hmm. not, a text right. could be misread. Right. You know. Uh, and don't text and capitalize and they don't think you're yelling at them. <laughs> Why are you yelling? Yeah. What? Talk about, somebody told me that a long time ago and I was like, hey, Hank, you come up while I'm yelling. Because you yeah. capitalize. Well, you capitalize the word. Yeah. Who said that was yelling? That's what they said. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what it is when you capitalize. That's what they well, you know what? And I nobody gave me that hand Yeah. You missed that hand I did. I'm capitalizing. They just get up. It they accidentally yeah, capitalized. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uncapitalized. Yeah. trying to hurt yeah. you. Because they said that on, uh, when you do email. Yep. Yeah. Not exactly. to capitalize. Yeah. Because if you capitalize, it means you really yeah. trying to pull yeah. that point out. Yeah. You know? yeah. I never knew that either. Right. So it's the same uh, it, it is. text. Yeah. So yeah. there's protocol to texting and the email. So like I said, we all there's all these... But the thing about people communication through text and all that is because they don't know how to communicate. Exactly. And then they that's the only way they, they feel that they, they can express themselves. Yes. Because a lot of times when you communicate and think about it when you're having your communication mm -hmm. or even when we're doing our talking out show. Mm -hmm. 
whatever comes in our mind, we want to hurry up and spit it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we don't know how to slow it down mm -hmm. and listen mm -hmm. and then go with the conversation because right. we want to put our points in. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you're over talking each other. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell you, oh, you hurt my feelings on such and such. No, I didn't because that doesn't make sense. And you mm -hmm. cut me off. So even listen. like, yeah. yeah, you don't listen. Yeah, listen. So now what I do is when somebody cuts me off, I just shut up. Mm -hmm. And they're like, what? I, I feel I don't have to listen because you're having a conversation by yourself. Right. Because when I was talking, you have cut me off. Right. So I'm not having a conversation with you mm -hmm. anymore. I do that with my kids. Well, I, oh, I, I, you interrupted me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I take notes. I mean, if you ever watch me, I have notes because I don't want to lose my point. You know, yeah. I thought, okay, inside because the conversation drifts in so many yeah. different ways and it drifts really fast sometimes. So, but I, I see a point that I'm trying to make. You know, and and so there, I'll write it down. Like this one, I yeah, was like text. Right. You know, yeah. I said, don't forget to bring up the text yeah. piece of it because yeah. I think that's a, a important key to the to the situation. Mm -hmm. You know, and I I think that the only other piece that keeps coming to my mind before I uh, disappear mm -hmm. on this uh, conversation mm -hmm. uh, is that why I want to know in my head to the to the writer mm -hmm. is that if you communicated what you were thinking to us as a panel mm -hmm. but did you communicate that with him yes. that you're concerned because you're not talking anymore or I mean is this because this sounds like a conversation that they should have had between yeah. each other they you know it shouldn't have been a conversation mm -hmm. over to us mm -hmm. you know now if you call and say yeah after talking to him we just did it, but you never said that. You mm -hmm. just said he stopped talking, and then what mm -hmm. should I do? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. So that means you have not communicate your concerns with him right. yet, and right. maybe he has a solution, or maybe he has some pain yeah. that he said, so, "Well, I got hurt on Tuesday mm -hmm. night at seven o'clock when you said this." <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what? And, and, this what? Is, and then what I'm you know, you say what you guys are saying is important. Okay, we were talking about text message or email, but if you actually physically, on phone or, or physically, talk to somebody, that lets you know a lot of times because there's, a, there's, there's things we, our facial expressions, mm -hmm. inflections in our voice, things like that, that I'm not going to hear if you text me. Right. I'm not going to know those things. Right. Uh, just like women, when men come up to women, we say, and they say, are you, how you doing? And you go, I'm fine. They know you ain't fine. But if I said I'm fine on text message, they're going to think you're fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they but but when you say I'm fine, and you can look at that person and be like, she's not mm -hmm. fine. You can tell that. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I, you don't physically see or hear it in my voice. Mm -hmm. You're not going to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a difference. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people do have this this not actually non this is the, really actually non-communication to me in the sense when you do it that way. Yeah, you text, I use text, text easy sometimes way out, I don't you know? want to, yeah, it's an easy way out. Like I don't really want to get into it, mm -hmm. so I just say, I don't wanna, yeah. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. I'm going to say something to appease that person yeah. so they leave me alone. <laughs> and, 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 and that's where we all make mistakes, and that's why I say I don't think we have ever truly learned how to communicate. Mm -hmm. I, I think remember watching something some a long time ago, and it was saying, people have a right to say whatever they want. Mm -hmm. You and if you get an attitude or you get offended, that's on you yeah. because they should be able to express. They never said that I need to make sure that you always okay throughout my whole conversation. Right, right. It just means this is how exactly. I feel. Yes. And you can take it how you want, but this is how I feel. Mm -hmm. And what people have to understand is you can't change the way somebody feels. Right. You can't change yeah. the way how somebody's thought process is. Yeah. But we want people to change the way mm -hmm. because it hurt them. Right. It hurt me. Your right. thought process and the way you feel hurt me. Mm -hmm. So you need to change it. Right. Why do I need to change the way I feel? Yeah, right. like you feel. need to change the way you accept it. Yeah, right. Exactly. And this is how I feel. Yep. Regardless if you like it or not, yeah. this is how it is. Just like if you and don't want to change, right. I have to deal with you don't want to change. Right. So if I want to continue But I told this, you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if yeah. if I want to continue this relationship, I need to know this is who you are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And right. it should be okay to be that right. way. Right. right. And, and and there's so many different avenues mm -hmm. it you're told you can't do that. Mm -hmm. Right. So when people say communicate, mm -hmm. they don't know how to communicate because I'm not allowed to truly tell you mm. how I feel. Right, exactly. And, and if the person is exactly. truly bringing you something of their emotion to the table, mm. then you should be a friend enough or in the relationship enough to hear what mm. they're saying to you. Mm -hmm. And in, in, if, it, if it's at all, does it matter if you adjust to make appease what mm. they're thinking? Mm -hmm. You know, I need you to talk to right. me more, or whatever it is that they're. It's actually you know, I hate active listener. Yes. Oh, active, active no, say that. Yeah, but again, we haven't been trained to be active listeners. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Prime example, when you go to church, 
You have to act a certain way. You got to sit a certain way. If you have kids, you got to do what? Sit way in the back. Yeah. If you do this, I really don't want to sit in the back because I have children. Right. But because my children might talk or whatever, <laughs> then I got to hurry up and scoot them out. Yeah. And all this other stuff. We are trained to not be able to be emotional the way we think. Mm -hmm. And I realized, and the reason I said this because I remember I, uh, my husband had co-workers, mm -hmm. and we went to their house, and the kids was running around, and they was free, mm -hmm. and they was doing everything. And, of course, my kids wasn't, because, you know, <laughs> the rule was, you right. don't run around in the house. Right. And, exactly. and, and you know, they're looking like, what happened? And you know, it is. Mm -hmm. But what I saw in the differences mm -hmm. of our kids is they were free to do stuff. Yeah. But not only were they free to do stuff, and they were able to, they learned how to communicate. So when if my kids mm -hmm. left their cup, or the toy somewhere. They were like, I'll pick up your toy, cup and put it in the sink. Or I'll pick up your toy and put it in there. Because they were free to be themselves. So yeah. they know the house rules is this. Yeah. We can do this and this and this. But we need to make sure we clean up after ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And it was easier. Well, our kids are so strict on the rules mm -hmm. that they, shoot, it's easy to forget these because they got 20 million rules. Oh, so they, yeah, they, so they never got to be yeah, free. free. And we're not free when we go to church. Yeah. We're not free when we go to place. Um, you sure uh, we're not free to go outside. You know, and there's all the things. You know what I mean? We ain't free no more right now, period. Right but, now. I'm just saying, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, with all that and stuff, we, we, we have, have been trained. Not to communicate. Right, right. And then we'll tell people you need to communicate. Well, how do you communicate? How do you properly communicate? And how do you properly be a listener? And what's the difference from listening and hearing? Yes. They don't know this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why the way I'm talking to you mm -hmm. is now I don't love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now is oh, because I don't want to change who I am because I like who I am, then I'm not trying to be your friend. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't care about you because I like being me. Mm, yeah. Why is that a problem? Like it says, like I've always heard, you know, church says come as you are. So I used to, when I was a kid, thought it was just new clothes. But then they were like, no, you're supposed to come as you are. I can't because if I come in a mini skirt, if I come in a, um, a half top, you, you, you're judging you know me. About and then, then you're coming over here to mm -hmm. cover me up. Mm -hmm. But you say come as I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. You say do this. Oh, well, if you talking about sex and you're not married, then you're this. So you can't be in this uh, ministry. You can't be in this ministry. So you can't communicate. Mm -hmm. You've been trained not to can't communicate. Be you. you can't. Mm -hmm. And your people say, communicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want you I to don't communicate. Know how to communicate. So, so they they're communicating out, the way they figure communicate. Figure out their dirt and then not, not allow you to do stuff. Because yeah. mm -hmm. they figured out their dirt. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So they communicate their way and they that's communicate it. the way they've been trained. Mm -hmm. And it's not... And affect the communication, mm -hmm. and that's why we can't keep friends. Right. We can't keep marriages together. Mm -hmm. We can't keep our children with us because we have so many rules. Right. You know what I mean? There's yeah. all these different things that come around, right. and those are things that we gotta learn. And now we gotta learn how to uh, train our kids, retrain our kids, mm -hmm. teach them how to communicate to us, and we gotta learn how to communicate. And we have to because we were trained. Mm -hmm. When kids speak, you don't listen. Mm -hmm. You don't listen. Adults don't have to listen to kids. Yeah, you better. Adults don't. Mm -hmm. In twenty twenty, you better. Yeah, but you need to because you need to know because each kid is different and you different. gotta understand. There's things that I do now that I would never ever in my mm -hmm. life that mm -hmm. I would do, and it still hurts me yeah. as I'm doing it now. Bless you. Mm -hmm. And it still hurts me now doing it because mm -hmm. I've been trained that this is wrong. Mm -hmm. So then I have to go. But mm -hmm. this is going to work for me at this mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you get people go, well, if your daughter did it, would you do it? No. Mm -hmm. Because she's a different person. Mm -hmm. I don't raise my kids with that. I raise them individually because they're individually, individually unique and they're individually different. Mm -hmm. So I have to do them differently. Mm -hmm. I have to express it different. Mm -hmm. Me and my daughter do things that I don't do nothing with my boys about mm -hmm. because she's my daughter. Mm -hmm. So I need her to understand this mm -hmm. and I need her to get this. So there's some th things that she gets that they don't get, they get that she don't get. Mm -hmm. And it's so I have to be okay with it. Mm -hmm. I can't care what everybody else thinks. Mm -hmm. I have to, but I have to communicate. Mm -hmm. My son, my oldest son communicates horribly. Mm -hmm. And I be wanting to snap his neck sometimes. Mm. I just do. Mm. I be like this. Mm. Who are you talking to like that? Mm. And he like you. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Like, <laughs> that's disrespectful. Mm. You don't do this. <laughs> and think that's respectful. Mm. It's not respectful. Mm. But 
to him, he's not being this way. If you talk to him about it, he's not being, he thinks he's the most respectful person in the world. Mm-hmm. Argue me down about how respectful he is. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what you mm-hmm. call him respect. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you see it, respect. Mm-hmm. So we have to learn this. As we tell people to communicate, we need to really also explain what communication is. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think people know how to communicate. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, and then when you're communicating, you're not in a place of judgment. Yeah. You're yes. just talk, you're listening, mm-hmm. and some require yeah. an answer, some stuff don't require right. an answer. Exactly. You're just listening. Listen. Yeah. You know, and then you're seeing if there's a way that you can work together on the, the communication mm-hmm. piece, whatever it, yes. whatever it is. You know what I mean? Yes. Whatever it is. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's, that's true. true. All right, right. You know, I think we helped that person out yeah. there. This yeah. year. <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. And we thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. And we will see you next time right here on the Talk It Out Show. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, mm-hmm. and share. Yeah, yes. have a wonderful blessed day.